Welcome back to the best After Effects tutorial channel on YouTube. Today I will show you a secret trick and that's how to make this amazing looking neon stroke animation in After Effects without any plugins. And we will do that by converting this text with a really simple trick into a shape and then animate the stroke and then add a few glow effects, but you have to stay tuned, this is really important. So let's just go right into it. I'll make a new composition and first of all add the text. I'll just type in neon, press S on this key keyboard to scale it up and let's also center it vertically and horizontally. Now this text will look different than this one and we can easily change that in the settings here. We can remove the checkbox in the fill thing, then it's gone, but then we can add one in the um, stroke thing and let's just make it one pixel and that's really cool. Now this is not animated at all and looks weird. Now the secret trick that I told you at the beginning, which a lot of people don't know, is how easy it is to convert these into shape layers. So we don't have to select this pen tool and just like recreate them. We can just select this layer, go to layer and then to create and create shapes from text just like that. Now we have a, a new layer with the old one hidden and this one is it's just a, a shape layer, which is super cool because now we can go into here and we can see we have all these letters and we can open these up and we could change the stroke or fill settings. What we want to do now is delete every stroke and every fill on the on each letter because we want to animate it like on a whole basis and not like each one separately. So just delete the stroke and maybe the fill even though it's deactivated but Let's keep it clean here and now you can see you see nothing so we have to add a stroke again and now we have a stroke for this whole thing. Now let's turn the whiteness a bit down by default it's two. We used one before so let's stay in here and yeah to animate this we can first of all go to the taper and change the start length and end length to something like 50% just like that and now you can see yeah it's, it's yeah, not even anymore which is really good in that case and we can also add a trim path effect and now with the trim path effect we can open this up and we could just animate this offset this is super cool right so let's go to the beginning of the animation and put in a keyframe in here and then to the end and just bring it forward a lot and that's super cool now we have this amazing looking animation and to give it some neon effects first of all Let's add a fill for the color, so we can easily just add a color without going into every letter. And here we can just play with the color a bit. We can then duplicate this one, and I always like to go to the lower one and remove this, um, or not actually remove it, but remove the taper to like uh, zero again. Uh, bring just both to zero but then bring down the stroke width to something like 0.3. So now we have like this constant stroke that's always here, but also the one that is animated on the outline. And that already is super cool. Maybe, uh, let's maybe bring even the the animated one, the whiteness a bit, let's make it a bit wider, like 1.5 maybe. And yeah, that's quite cool. Now the only thing that is missing basically, we can uh, bring this thicker outline, animated outline to the, first of all, let's bring it down, then duplicate it, and on the lower one, we could then add a blur effect. Actually, let's use Gaussian blur, apply it, bring the value up a bit, so we have some glow going on. If we want, we can could regulate it with the opacity if we want it to be not that strong. But that's it, basically. And what always looks good, of course, is add an adjustment layer on top of everything and add an actual glow effect. And yeah, then this one will be quite strong. Then you can just play with it. But yeah, that's it. Now you have an animated glow effect and this just looks super cool. And I hope you learned something. So yeah, see you next time.